how to connect Google Merchant Center with Shopify. In this step-by-step -step video, we're going to be fixing that problem for you and showing you how you can get more potential customers and more potential sales. So stick around until the very end, you'll learn how to fix your problem. Go ahead and sign up onto Shopify. You're also going to go ahead and buy a plan. Of course, the free trial does not work in this situation. In order for you to connect Google Merchant Center, your store must be live. And in order for your store to be live, you would need to go ahead and purchase a plan. Make sure you have a plan ready and your store is live. And once that is done, you are good to go. You can just simply search for Google Merchant Center. It'll pop up the first link. You just simply click on the first link and you'll arrive over here. Next, what you need to do is just simply click on sign in or sign up and click on sign in into merchant. After that, it's going to ask you some questions. Do you sell products online? Click on yes. And then it's going to ask you for your website. Over here, you just simply copy the link of your website. Go back to the website, paste your link. Do you have a brick and mortar store? Click yes or no. It depends on you if you're going to ask you for a location. But if you don't, you can just simply click on no and click on continue what you'll need. And basically, you just simply click on continue to Merchant Center. It's going to ask you for your business info, your business name and your registered country. And then you just simply click on continue to Merchant Center. After that, it's going to welcome you to Google Merchant Center. Just simply click on get started and you are good to go. You're going to do a couple of things. First things first, you're going to go into shipping and returns and you're going to add in your shipping info. Just simply click on add shipping information countries where you want google to show your products you can go ahead and click on add or remove countries or simply click on select all countries and depends on you for now we'll just select united states and click on save there you go you just simply click on continue then it's going to ask you to add your shipping information so customers can know to begin with shipping information select a single country or multiple countries that share shipping cost and delivery options you just simply select the country that you want select products that share your shipping you can choose all products or specific products then of course you're going to have to choose that product for now we'll just simply select all products click on continue now how do you determine your delivery time either by carrier or you can enter in your specific delivery time as well it depends on you for now we'll just enter a specific delivery time you can choose to change this to however you want and you can choose monday to sunday all working days yep and then just simply click on continue and save now you choose the currency and your shipping cost you can choose to either have free shipping paid shipping or free shipping over a certain amount then you enter in the amount that you want to have free shipping available on or you can add paid shipping click on save there you go your shipping information has been added to the merchant center then click on done and you are good to go you just simply enter in your return policies you can add a return policy over here things you can go ahead and skip this and do this later if you want to but it helps to do this beforehand and then you can go ahead and connect it once we move past this go into the connection it is going to ask you to fill out these forms so that the connection can be made without any interruptions add in the url where you're gonna have the return policy just select the country exchange that as well and then you just simply click on continue we'll just say within 10 days we'll choose lifetime as well and then you simply click on continue click on next click on save there you go you now have your return policy and shipping policy now we need to go ahead and add in our business details over here is, as you can see, is the main part we're going to go ahead and connect our store. So as you can see, your store, it is not verified yet and not yet claimed. So let's go ahead and confirm claim this store. Make sure that you are using the exact same email that you use for the Merchant Center. So over here, it's going to ask you how to verify. You can choose any of these platforms, Shopify, WooCommerce, Squarespace, and Wix. You can add an HTML tag or you can use Google Tag Manager or use Analytics. It depends on you but the platform and over here we're going to select shopify basically tells you to copy this text field gives you a little checklist in order to do that now we need to come back over here onto shopify click on online store click on themes click on the three dots and go into edit code you can duplicate the code not to mess it up then go into theme.liquid and over here right above here we've already added this piece of code but for now we're going to go ahead and remove this and we're going to paste the code right here and we're going to go ahead and click on save right here you're supposed to paste it right before the head section right here it could be your third line or fourth line it depends on you make sure to paste it right before the headline click on save 
And once you've done that, exit the code, come over here and click on verify your online store. It says it's in the wrong location right before the head, even though that's what I did. But let me see. Okay, it is now verified because even though it says before head, you need to add it after head. So make sure you add the code after head and then it'll work. I added both just in case you can do that. It really doesn't matter. So before and after, go ahead and paste it and it will say that it is now verified and it is now claimed and then you just simply click on continue there you go your shopify store is now connected with your google merchant center as well now we need to go ahead and use another application so you just simply come back over here onto shopify click on apps go to all recommended apps go ahead and open shopify app store and over here you're just simply gonna search for feed for google shopping although it is not free it does have 21 day free trial but it doesn't really matter you can go ahead and use it before it and it works really really well i highly recommend you use it after all it's just five dollars per month once you go ahead and start using it you're gonna earn a lot of money and go ahead and choose your store just simply go ahead and install the application it's going to ask you to sign in with your google account the exact same google account that you use to sign in with your merchant account so just simply go ahead and sign in with google and use that account after that it's going to ask you to choose your google merchant id just select this google merchant id of course it's going to be the exact same because you're using the exact same google account as you can see 50 80 29 50 80 29 618 then you just simply click on confirm your account your shop yes i've enabled as you can see it's verifying your domain domain is verified boom see this is what i mean we had to do that beforehand now we don't need to all good it's all done you can go ahead and fill out this form and then you just simply click on sync and you should be good to go so there you go you're basically done you've connected your google merchant account with your shopify account go ahead and give you everything so as you can see everything is active everything is working all the trackers and everything you can go ahead and all these different options you can even connect google analytics for using this application as well you are good to go that is it for this video guys and if you got value from this video don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more about e-commerce check out these videos next 